So what I am doing is I am putting this guardrail at multiple locations in my system prompt. Let's try to make a chat GPT within an hour. We need an internet connection, we need a chat GPT account and we need a hugging face account. Out of that, two and three, we just need a free account. Only thing you need to pay for is the internet. So apart from all these requirements, you need to understand some basic things before that. If you need to create a chat GPT like bot, you should know what actually supports that bot. So it's actually a GPT API, either hosted by OpenAI or Hugging Face or any other organization. But the problem with that API is it is stateless. That means if you send a completion request like I'll uh, listen to your then the OpenAI backend will send the completion like it will fill up with the most statistically appropriate completion and give it back to you. But each request that you send is independent and it doesn't affect its subsequent request. Okay, OpenAI or Google or other organizations who support GPT API doesn't keep track of your conversations so it won't help us to make a chat gpt right because we obviously know that chat gpt keeps track of a conversation context so if this doesn't help you then what is it it's like a brilliant person who just knows how to do a completion but can't keep track of what is happening around him he or she cannot work without support okay so what are the things that will support us to create a chat gpt like effect so the first and the foremost thing is message types there are three types of messages system assistant and user messages out of which system message is the prime thing okay it sets the context for all our interactions so what is system message it sets the context and behavior of your gpt and it guides the gpt throughout the user interaction and it is set usually at the beginning of the conversation and is persisted throughout the conversation but the thing is it is a responsibility of the designer or the people who are making this bot to find ways to persist the system message or to bundle the system message and send it along with each of the user messages and it is invisible to the users so when you are using chat gpt in the back and maybe at the client side or at the server side or in the intermediate layer a system message is also embedded and sent to the back end and you are getting a response of the system message and your message okay so what is a AI message a message is a response that you are getting from the llm or the back end and it is what we are after right and it is influenced by system message that is embedded along with it and it is actually based on context right then what is meant by a user message it is a query that you give to get your things done and it drives the conversation and it could be multi-model may contain reference to the previous messages so let's see how for a chat application workflow happens so this is a typical workflow we are now on the developer side so we are not involved in this sequence diagram a user who uses your bot and the LLM system, those are the parties. So when a user actually opens up the interface, what happens is a system message is set that controls the behavior of this LLM. Then when a user generates a message to get a response from the LLM, what happens is that message along with the system message is bundled together and it is processed by the LLM. Okay, so the user message finds its purpose with the system message and these things together makes the LLM to create a completion and that completion is the AI message. So for the first user message, user unknowingly is bundling the system message and sending it to the LLM. LLM processes it and sets back the AI message one. Then when the user as part of the continuing conversation generates another message and sends it, what happens is in the back end or in the background, whatever system message was initially set by the developer that along with the first user message the first response and this current user message is sent similarly the response will be generated by the llm and sent back to the user then for a subsequent or third user message all the things that happened before along with the system message will be bundled together and processed by the llm not that the scheme of bundling doesn't mean proper string concatenation could be summary of all the things maybe the system message user message previous AI message. thing you have to notice your 
message at any point of time in the conversation is dependent on all the previous message transfers as well as the system message that is sent okay so it is not sent independently in the background it is actually bundled or summarized with the previous interactions and the system message this could be back and call to an open ai interface so here you can see that system message is bundled together with the user message even the user is just supplying this query all the things are actually going as a bundle to the backend now let's try to create a chat gpt like bot obviously we'll be having a chat gpt account right so you will be having account like this and we just need a free account that will do. we need a hugging face free account so hugging face is actually the github of machine learning it is actually a community platform so you need to create a hugging face account you just go to huggingface.co and it will give you the directions to set up an account so once you have an account and once you have a profile what you need to do is you have to click on the hamburger icon and then you have to go to the hugging chat so that we will see once the prerequisites are done we can take up a task that is we need to create a personality development assistant and the first step is we need to craft a system prompt so we will use a easy method we will use a gpt custom gpt to generate the system prompt so you can use chat gpt and in that there is a custom gpt known as prompt perfect which can help you to create a system prompt so let's go to chat gpt and what i can do is i can explore gpt's right then i will search for prompt perfect okay so this is where we are going to create our system prompt okay so i am in prompt perfect now i need to create a system prompt so i'm going to do that so what i need to do so please generate for me a system prompt for a personality development assistant okay maybe i can give a focus area focused on academics right so just we will just wait for it so what prompt perfect does us the prompt that we give or the user query that we give or the user message that we give it is refined by prompt perfect and it is fed back to the chat gpt system or to the open ai backend and it will give you your response right it is not a desirable response right because it is showing a welcome message assistant stone is it's actually talking about what should be such a system prompt it is not actually giving system prompt so please generate for me a system prompt personal development is focused on academics okay maybe this will help okay so now this is working so what i have mentioned is i need a system prompt which i can easily copy and paste without much modification right so it is actually now sticking to that point and it is generating the system prompt or it is actually giving a persona to your bot right so i can easily copy and paste this one what you need to understand is our desirable answer is one between these two lines okay so we need to copy that system prompt okay, i'll just copy it so we have crafted a system prompt now we need to go to hugging face chat interface and create a assistant or a bot so go to your hugging face account so near the profile section there will be a hamburger icon click on hugging chat so you will be going to the hugging chat interface then you need to log in to hugging chat to personalize your interactions so click on login so you will be logged in then you have to click on assistance because we are going to create our own assistant so this is like a gpt store chat gpt is gpt store others have created many useful assistants you can actually refer those so we are now going to create our own assistant right so whatever system prompt we are having we will copy paste here now we need to give picture so upload an icon then we need to give your name right so it is a academic academic personality development bot so 
so this is a test bot then i can select any of the listed models so i will choose meta llama model because it is a general purpose model then by default i have set the internet access as off because i am planning to use only the gpt's internal train data then there is an option for start messages so what is meant by start message start messages uh, suppose that you are on your chat gpt right so when you are on the chat gpt interface there are many ready made interaction paths for you to start right so these are known as the user start, user start messages okay so similarly if you want to put any of such messages for a hook to your user you can use the user start message option so maybe i'll give some relevant things related to the academic personality development right now i will just give on create so it has created a bot for me so in that you can see that you can copy this link and share it with your friends so that they can try out this bot now let's try to chat with the bot so let me ask something so even though we have turned off web search it is going and searching the web right so that is not a desirable behavior okay so what can we do how can we restrict the bot so that it aligns more to our objectives so for that we can always edit our bot okay so go to the edit section then we may put some guarding or guardrails to ensure that it sticks to our purpose right so let us insert like please don't access the internet always stick to academics related academic post academics perspective maybe something like that. because if somebody asks about how to to make a film something like that it should not be answered right so what i am doing is i am putting this guardrail at multiple locations in my system prompt important okay then maybe here also okay then clicking on save then i will click on new chat then i will just give me for how to score more in near month okay now it is not going for net search because i have restricted net search at multiple points in my system prompt right so now it is only replying it from its training okay now let's see whether the guardrail of academics perspective is working so for that i will ask what is the weather at delhi so it is doing a web search but system prompt is actually cutting it off it is saying that i i don't have access to the real time information but it did do a search right the system prompt is blocking what is returned to the user that's what i told what is returned to user is a function of the system prompt the previous messages and the current user request so maybe i'll ask what are the previous where is i made so this particular hugging face chat assistant interface is keeping track of my previous queries and the responses that were returned also so when i put a new query all these previous queries responses and the system prompt that we just entered will be sent and then only the response will come back okay so that is handled by this hugging chat assistant implementation they are doing their own method to maintain the conversation context maybe summarizing all the previous interactions with the backend llm 
and uh, sending it back or piggybacking it with our own request. So now perfectly our particular bot is working as per our system prompt, right? It is not accessing the internet and it is only sticking to academic perspective. It is not giving weather information like that. So this is how you will create your own ChatGPT like customized bot.